Hello all. So if you have a Hyundai with the P2196 code, I thought I'd go over what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a Hyundai P2196 code? Well, it's an O2 sensor, signal bias, stuck rich, bank one, sensor one. And what does this mean? Well, there are sensors and they're located on the exhaust and they do two things. The first thing they do is they monitor the catalytic converter. And then the second thing they do is they read how much oxygen was burnt off during combustion. And then they send this information back to the computer, which adjusts the air fuel ratio mixture that's going into the cylinders. And for some reason, this bank one sensor one is reading a rich condition, which basically means there's more gas than air going into the cylinders. And so it's going to have to be troubleshooted to know why. And if you have a V6 engine, bank one is always the side of the engine with the number one cylinder. So if you find the number one cylinder, that's going to be bank one. And the opposite of that would be bank two. If you have a four cylinder engine, it wouldn't matter. You'd only have one bank. It's a good idea to get a diagram where all the sensors are located on your particular Hyundai. Since there can be some differences, it's going to vary. It's going to depend on the year, the engine type, things like this. But the sensor that's reading this is going to be bank one, sensor one, oxygen sensor. And so the first thing that can cause this is that that sensor has just gone bad and it's just reporting bad information back to the computer. So the computer just thinks there's a problem when there isn't. There's a different ways to go about testing that sensor. There's some good YouTube videos on that. But if that sensor goes bad, then it's going to cause issues. Also keep in mind that if there's anything wrong with the wiring, like an open, short, bad connection, it's going to cause the same symptoms as a, as a bad sensor. So be sure to keep that in mind. The next thing that can cause this is going to be a bad purge valve that's stuck open. The purge valve is part of the EVAP system that takes gas vapors from the gas tank and feeds them back up to the engine to get burnt off. And if this gets stuck open, then it could be letting more gas vapors go into the engine than should be. Quite often when these go bad, it causes long start times. If you go to get gas and then after you get gas, it's hard to start the engine. It takes longer than usual to start it. That's often a symptom of a bad purge valve. And the location of the purge valve is going to vary. Again, it's going to depend on the year, the make, things like this. It'll be up inside of the engine compartment somewhere. There's some different ways you go about testing to see if the purge valve is stuck open. A really quick test you could do is that you can unplug it and then you could take the hose off that's going back to the charcoal canister. And then you start the vehicle and you check to see if there's a slight vacuum at the purge valve. If it does have a vacuum, then it means it's stuck open. And the vacuum being felt is going to be the intake manifold vacuum. Because if you unplug it, then it should be closed. And the computer won't be able to send it no signals to open or nothing. So if you can't fill a vacuum at it, it means it's stuck open. There's some good YouTube videos on that. But the next thing that can cause this is that the purge valve is stuck open. If those things all check good, then bank one side of the engine might be getting too much fuel compared to air. There might be some kind of issue that's causing the air fuel ratio mixture to be thrown off. And too much fuel going in would be caused by things like a bad injector, too much fuel pressure, a bad sensor, like a bad fuel rail pressure sensor or something like that. It can also be caused by blocked airflow. So this would be things like a dirty air filter or some kind of obstruction that's blocking the flow of air from going into the engine and possibly a bad sensor like a bad MAF sensor or something like that. There's some different methods to go about seeing if that side of the engine is running rich or one of the cylinders is running too rich on that side. One method is that if you could remove the spark plugs on that side of the engine and just check to see how they're burning because when a cylinder is burning rich the spark plug is going to be really dark. If it's running lean, then it's going to be white. But if it's running really rich, it's going to be running really dark. You can look up spark plug burn charts online and you can match it to burn charts and you can tell how the cylinder is burning. Also, quite often when one of these things go bad, like a bad injector or a bad map sensor or something like that, you're going to get other codes. So if you are getting other codes, be sure to pay attention to that. And so that's all there is. If you fixed the Hyundai with this problem and I missed something, please comment down below. If you have anything to add, also please comment down below. But that's basically it. If this video helps you, please click like.